The news of the suspension of Mr. Desman Oyahilome Wuhire by the president of Love World, Pastor Chris Oyahilome, over gross misconduct has gone viral. Some sections of the media had alleged the suspension was in connection with Desman's relationship with the All Progressives Congress APC presidential candidate Ashwadu Bola Ahmed Tinubu. However, the purported reason for the suspension, which was announced during the Global Communion Service and Praise Night of the Church on 7th August 2022 and monitored live by Super Screen Television, has been found to be untrue as Pastor Chris did not make any such allusion during the broadcast. In Proverbs chapter 19, verse 18, and I have warnings for our young people. You're going to have to take life seriously and behave better. Like they say, all that glitters is not gold, right? Not everything that just because some other people are doing it, then you start doing it too and misbehaving. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 18 says, Chesting thy son while there is hope. And let not thy soul spare for his crying. Have you seen that? Should I read it again? It says, Chasten thy son while there is hope. And let not thy soul spare for his crying. So if he's crying, he says, Don't change your mind, take actions. Did you see that? Why there is hope? So you don't destroy him. If you look at that very verse in the NIV, you'll be surprised what it says. Look at it in NIV. It says, discipline your children, for in that there is hope. Do not be a willing party to their death. Because if you don't correct them, they're going to go in the wrong direction. And it's certain death. Now, for the Love World Next and Love World Innovations, which are part of our youth organizations, the one who has been uh, president of Love World Next and Love World Innovations, this man, is hereby removed from being president of Love World Next and Love World Innovations and also suspended from all official roles for acts of gross misconduct. Gross misconduct. So he no longer handles any of that and I'm putting him under spiritual rehabilitation. He has to go through a spiritual rehabilitation program from now with immediate effect. Such misconduct is unacceptable. And so, in the light of the forthcoming general election, it remains to be seen what political gladiators will not use as propaganda to their advantage even if it means misinforming the general public.